everyone, so today is a special Tim Burton themed haul. I'm very excited. I have seven books to show you because I'm currently working on something which I need to reference Tim Burton uh, interviews and essays. So I will show you those in a moment, but first we will start with the little anomaly. So this is the one random object in this haul. This is the new Jack Skellington mug from Disney Store. They have two new ones in the range. They have this one, which we have Jack on the front and then Jack's head on the back and the most gorgeous Beetlejuice-esque candle. I think it is absolutely stunning. And they also have uh, a yellow and black one with Jack and Sally on, which I really, really want. Then we come to the books. Now, unfortunately, none of these books are that modern. They certainly don't cover things like Big Eyes and Frank and Weenie, the remake. Um, but we have, first of all, Tim Burton Interviews, which was published in 2005. I've had a quick flick through it, and there seems to be a lot of bite-sized little snippets of information to give you an overview of how Burton works. Plus, that face is just absolutely beautiful. Then we come to A Child's Garden of Nightmares, which goes up to Planet of the Apes, the star of the Bottom Carter Burton series. And we have some gorgeous images in here. Such as that one of Johnny Depp and Edward Scissorhands and we get a really good look at all of the films here and different opinions. Then we have Tim Burton, The Life and Films of a Visionary Director. This one goes up to Mars Attacks and we also have quite a bit in there about Danny Elfman's music as well so it kind of gives you the full package and it's quite an interesting one with some beautiful pictures. When I saw this one on Amazon, I pretty much died at the cover. It is so spectacular. This is Conformity and Nonconformity in the Tim Burton Fairy Tale. This looks at Edward Scissorhands, Sleepy Hollow and Alice in Wonderland. I think Alice in Wonderland is quite an interesting one to put in there, so I'm looking forward to reading this. My only little complaint, and this is just me being a picky writer, is that the text isn't justified. I don't know if you can see that. But it's left aligned, and I think when a text isn't justified in a professional piece, it just looks sloppy. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, it's not the best mindset to go into it with, but in terms of visual quality, it's beautiful. Then we have Tim Burton by Jim Smith and J. Clive Matthews. Again, this goes up to Planet of the Apes. And this is a rather in-depth overview of his films from start to apes. How stunning is this one? I could have cried when I took it out of the packaging when it came through the post. This is Gothic Fantasy, The Films of Tim Burton by Edwin Page. And this one also includes Chorus Bride, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and Big Fish. So we're getting a little bit further into his career here. And visually we have, I mean, oh look at Helena. We have some absolutely sensational images and I've not read it all but there's quite a lot of information in there as well. And last but by no means least, we have Masters of Cinema, Tim Burton. And this uh, is a very visual look at a lot of his films. And I just want to show you a few images just to kind of end the video on a really good note. How beautiful is the Red Queen? And then over the page we have a very revealing, very gorgeous Mrs. Lovett with uh, Sweeney Todd. But my all-time favourite picture in this, I've not read it but I have looked at all the pictures. We have a wonderful mirror here, if you can see this. So we have on this side... We have Tim Burton working with Johnny Depp on Edward Scissorhands with the very wonderful Vincent Price over here. And then almost mirroring the hand action and Johnny Depp's facial expression is one from Sweeney Todd almost 20 years later. And I just think that that image there basically sums up his career in a nutshell. Uh, it's just, oh, it, it really gets me quite emotional that one. So I'm really looking forward to reading that in more depth. Thank you for watching this haul. If you have any other Tim Burton books that you think I should check out, do let me know as I will happily go and buy more. And uh, If you have any suggestions for anything else as well, for other videos, do let me know and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye!